Alright guys, in today's video review, we're taking a look at another Toy Story 3 toy, and as you can see, we're taking a look at Twitch again. But, we already took a look at this one right here, so, let's move that over here. Today, we're taking a look at the bigger one. This is basically the collection series without actually being called part of the collection series. It's one of the Thinking Toys versions, which so far has been all the Thinking Toys, well, from what I can tell, what I can, what I can remember, all the Thinking Toys versions have been like to scale and pretty pretty accurate to the movie. That's basically what this one is right here. So right off the bat, let's go and take a look at his details compared to this guy. As I said before, the original one, or well, the smaller one, so his paint job and his details just look lacking, like it wasn't all the way finished or something. On this one, it's a lot better. First off, he has darker green. He has the skills, he has detail on his gloves. Well, it's not so much detail, but it's more of a texture look to it. He has it on his chest now, unlike before. Got it on his underwear, his legs, his boots. I'm not sure if they're boots or not because on the small one here, they look like boots here. But on this one, it looks kind of like a. The way they painted it, it's kind of like it's part of his skin or something, or part of his body. Which is really nice how they did the paint job on this, with a dark orange on here and then fading up into the green. I really like that look a lot. But of course it probably doesn't show up too well on camera because the light might be fading it out, but hopefully you can see it good enough. He has detailing on the head. I'm talking about the texture here. Eyes are just basically the same detail, just not as awkward looking and they have a nice look nice uh I guess it's kinda like a golden finish to it. His attendance are multicolor unlike before which was a solid orange. They start off as green and fade into the orange. Or orange to green. Back of his body is detailed as well. Tech well textured detailed textured all the same stuff. So yeah. As you might have seen he had a string on his back. That's basically for if the wings happen to fall off, they don't go falling down and getting lost. They'll actually just hang there and just hang there until you pop them back in. So it's kind of neat and kind of, you know, kind of bad. I don't know. It looks kind of weird, but at least you can't lose the wings. Unless you cut off the string. Articulation is a lot better than the other one. First off with the head, you got a lot easier on the 360 movement. Nothing up and down though. No side to side, just up. Just a, just a simple 360 turn. There's the shoulder movement. But now they also go in and out. Got elbows. And he's got wrist. Same on both. This is the same on both arms. His waist, it's there, but it's not really going to get too much movement out of it. Legs can go out about there. Forward and back, they can go forward and back. Is that knee movement? that knee movement there, which is pretty nice. Then he also has ankle movement. So as you can see, he has a lot of good articulation, especially compared to the original. The original only had a shoulder up here. And the leg here, plus the head. This one has the head movement, uh, good articulation on the shoulders, which goes all the way around, side to side, elbows, wrist, legs, waist, knees, and ankles. So he has a lot of good articulation on him, and it's really, really great how they did it. The tightness of his joints is a little bit off and on. They're kind of loose, but they're not so loose as where they fall down like that. They're loose enough where you could move them easily, pose them. And it'll, it'll actually hold the pose pretty well. So it's loose enough to have no tightness on joints, but tight enough to keep a pose if you kind of get my drift. This version of Twitch has two action features, which normally I don't like, but his are actually kind of neat. First off, he pushes his head down, opens his, he opens and closes his mouth, as you can see. Not too bad of a feature, and it's kind of neat how they added it in. 
Other feature I'm sure you might have saw or heard. All you have to do is just push the stomach here and the wings pop out. And he has a pretty good wingspan as well. Now you might be wondering the price point. It might seem kind of expensive, but if you can figure this, the Space Alien 3 pack was $29.99 and they had no moving parts, no special features or anything. They were just basic statues. This guy has two action features plus a lot of different articulation points, so it's I say it's worth the money. As where you can pick this up, I found mine at the Disney store, and that's pretty much the only place I've heard of people finding it. There's been maybe like one or two people that said Toys R Us as well, but I admit to seeing it at my store and haven't really heard too many other people saying Toys R Us or Target or anything. So for sure, Disney store has them for $29.99. If any other place gets them, I don't know how much they charge, but like I said before, $29.99 at Disney store. For a quick little size comparison, you can kind of see it here between him and the old version. Well, the basic one. The kid-friendly one. Let's take a look at him in a scaled figure. As you can see, we got Twitch next to Buzz. And they're pretty much in pretty good height to get to one another. I think it's pretty accurate to what they're actually supposed to be in a movie. If I can find a picture online, I'll put the picture up right now so you can see it. It's so you can see you the size and person between the two and see how accurate it is. If I can't find the picture, then you won't see it, but if you can't, but if I... Do I suggest this switch over this switch? I say yes, yes, yes. Hello, is there anyone out there? It's basically like I said before. Road articulation, nice details and all over, all over the place. The body, legs, feet, head, everything has detail on it. Details and good... The action features, which I normally don't like, but this, his features really don't you know, get in the way of anything. They're pretty much just right there and there, so it's not, it's not like uh, it restricts any of the body movements at all, so it's really nice. So I see if you're going to get at least one Twitch figure, definitely let this be the one to pick up. Okay. Time for hypersense. Alright. So yeah, definitely pick up this version of Twitch, it's the best one out there so far. I really, really doubt they'll make an actual collection version because this one is basically it right now. One thing I do suggest is, of course like you do with all your toys, if you're a collector. Go through, all the, go through all the ones that are available on the shelf and look at all the paint jobs. You want to try to get the best one you can find because uh, because some of them are pretty good and other ones are pretty bad. On this guy, pretty much the only badness you might see is on the harness here. Sometimes you'll see not enough painted or too much painted. Like some of the yellow will be on the green and or the green will be on the harness. On mine, it was the best one of the batch. And you can still see some of the paint job errors up here. Which isn't horrible, it's a, you know, it's a cheaper toy. So it's not, you know, it's not bad, bad. Pretty much for this guy, I really don't have any faults in him. He's pretty much a great toy. Out of all the Toy Story toys I have right now, which is uh, Twitch, Buzz, Woody, the Aliens, and uh, this guy right here. I will say he's my favorite one of the bunch. Just a great looking toy, great articulation, good paint job, good details. It's, it's awesome. And just one last thing before I go. Here is the box for the, the, box for the toy. Just so you can see what it looks like in case you go to the store to pick it up, you have a basic idea what it looks, what it's going to look like. And you know, you can tell it's a, one of those cheap boxes, it's not a fancy box like the collection series. But, it is one of the, th one of the thinking toys. So, yeah. So yeah, definitely pick it up if you see it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So this is Sniper33 taking off. I should have a video of Buzz or Woody up later on in the week, so... Hopefully everything goes well and I have those guys up. So come back for more and hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully it was informative. See ya.